To me, dysphoria feels like I'm wearing a full-body mascot costume that weighs so much I can barely hold myself up. Looking into the mirror only adds to the struggle and makes me feel even worse. Even on my best self-esteem days, there was always the lurking feeling of dysphoria lingering in the back of my mind. I never felt like I belonged in my own body. No matter how many styles of clothes I tried on, how many different haircuts I got, or anything, nothing ever felt right. As a transgender woman specifically, situations that caused me the most dysphoria were when I had to wear masculine clothing to appear more professional or to blend in for my own safety. When I was finally out as transgender and taking hormones, for a while I still had to conceal my body and gender identity in order to avoid any kind of dirty looks or harassment. That was when the dysphoria was the worst. I was on the way to who I wanted to be, but I couldn't express it openly. Even after what I thought was my escape from dysphoria once and for all, I was still suffering through it more than I thought I would. After having been transitioning for a while, I no longer wear masculine clothing or feel like I need to conceal who I am. This has relieved a lot of dysphoria for me. However, it has never fully gone away. Transgender women's facial hair doesn't stop growing during hormone replacement therapy, and our voice does not automatically get higher or change either. Even while I am closer and closer to who I want to be on the outside, I still wake up and see facial hair every morning, and I have to warm up my throat and vocal cords before work. The need to have to shave daily, or sometimes even twice daily, causes me great dysphoria still. It is hard to look in the mirror when I have to grow my facial hair out for electrolysis sessions. I wear a mask everywhere, even outside. I have been training my voice daily for over a year, and there are still times when I get surred or when someone calls me ma'am and instantly corrects themselves or is unsure. I still have moments when my voice cracks and it makes me self-conscious. Ultimately, dysphoria comes and goes, but I believe it never really goes away. It does become easier to manage and navigate, though. Over time, dysphoric feelings turn into desire and motivation for change, which is why I took the plunge, came out as trans, and started hormone replacement therapy. I am beating dysphoria one day at a time.